Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Reduce your ping time and get faster speeds when you game at expressvpn.com slash inside. Sorry, my speed walk sweat is dropping. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Friday. Let's give it up for the Switch. Oh, the Nintendo Switch. We've got all these new consoles up, but we're going to talk about the Switch. Let's give it up for the Switch. Yeah! Hey. It's a me, Friday. Connor harmonize. Hi, hey. yeah! Hey. So we got the PS5 and the Series X releasing this week. It's easy to forget about the humble Switch. After all, it doesn't have the best graphics or frame rates. It doesn't have a fancy SSD to load up your games in a GIF. He's nuts. Nintendo's hybrid console has still persisted. It has become an absolute juggernaut in the area that matters most, especially to us, us business heads over here. Sales. That's right. That's right. Us stonks people. Yes. yes. <laughs> we just got a new batch of numbers that show that the Switch could be headed for all-time great status. The GOAT. Uh, when it comes to moving units. Hell yeah. It might not be the most powerful machine, like we said, but the Switch has been the best-selling console here in the U.S. for the last 23 months in a row. Now, Jesus. granted, that's when the PS4 and the Xbox One were at the end of their life cycles, but still very impressive. And the Switch just had a record-breaking October here in the States, selling more than 735,000 units of the OG Switch and the Switch Lite. Good Lord. Compared to last year, Nintendo says that that is a more than 136% increase. In all, they have sold more than 68 million Switches worldwide, an impressive total for a console that is not even four years old yet. Perfectly named Nintendo of America president Doug Bowser said in a statement that Seeing encouraging sales growth like this in the fourth October of Nintendo Switch proves to us that the system has many more years and great games yet to come. Yeah, they're not gonna give up on the Switch anytime soon. No. Analysts were also impressed with those sales. NPD's Matt Piscatella said October was a big month for Switch and year. All time big, maybe. So what caused the big sales jump? Well, Nick Chavez, Nintendo of America's senior VP of sales and marketing, attributed the spike in sales last month to two factors. They had more Switches in stock compared to earlier this year when they hit a supply block because of the pandemic. Chavez also attributed the sales momentum of the Switch to, weirdly, to that special Animal Crossing themed Switch that everybody wanted. Uh, you remember it was introduced earlier this year back when Animal Crossing came out, but they got fresh supplies of it at the beginning of October. Chavez said many people were excited to get their hands on that as quickly as possible. Such a Nintendo move, just slap a new yeah, coat of seriously. paint on it and watch uh, watch them come running. He said that a big part of the console's growth is that it's been popular with women and families. Uh, oh, pretty untapped demos for the <laughs> other Lame. consoles. Chavez said that this year, a lot of our growth has been driven by an influx of women playing Nintendo Switch, more kids and teenagers playing Nintendo Switch, as well as parents, and he said that despite the Switch Lite being an option, there's still a strong preference for the OG Switch. We will talk about how this affected Nintendo's profits, but first, let's discuss all of the great stuff you can watch on HBO Max. Today's episode of Inside Gaming Daily is sponsored by HBO Max. In true 2020 fashion, the holidays are going to look a little different this year. That's why we partnered with HBO Max to keep the spirit of togetherness alive with their library of feel-good films for the holiday season. Staying put with your quarantine crew for the holidays, HBO Max has the bingeable series for you. Are you at home with your overbearing family? Don't worry. HBO Max has that movie to get lost in. Are you doing the holidays solo? Cool. HBO Max has the titles you'll want to discuss with your friends and family virtually. No matter what mood you're in this holiday season, HBO Max has something for you. HBO Max has so many classic holiday films now streaming like Holiday Affair and A Christmas Carol. Personally, I'll be watching Last Christmas, The Family Stone, and of course, Binging Succession again. I love it so much. I can watch it until the end of time all of which you can find on HBO via HBO Max. Get cozy at home this holiday season by heading to hbomax.com now. Okay, back to the Switch and its record-breaking sales. As you might imagine, all of this has been great for Nintendo. Their profits have jumped more than 200% on the strength of games like Animal Crossing. Yeah, for like, I think that was for like the first six months of the year. It's It's been an insane 2020 for them. Yep. They've just been locked down and counting their money. And frantically trying to figure out how they can make more Switches. Right, <laughs> right. and make 10% more powerful yes, as exactly. they reluctantly upgrade it. Yeah. <laughs> Super Mario 3D All-Stars, a collection of some really good 3D Mario games, also did very well, selling more than 5.2 million units in just 12 days. Also mm -hmm. helps that Nintendo is more than happy to sell collections of old games for full price. For 60 bucks, everybody <sighs> comes running. <laughs> just every single time. There are I bought so it just many, for sunshine. There are yeah. so many Wii U games that are $60 
dollars on the Switch right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nintendo, kind of famous for rarely ever cutting prices, but again, doesn't seem to matter for them. Doesn't yeah. seem to affect them <laughs> at yeah. all. And this won't surprise you, but despite the new consoles launching this month, Nintendo doesn't see them as competition. None of them say each other as competition. It's very funny. Yeah, I know, they all keep <laughs> saying them talk. Yeah, that is a route they've taken for generations now, not focusing on raw power, but rather hitting that family-friendly zone. Chavez said, it's always exciting when new consoles enter the video game marketplace. It's great to see the PS5 and the Xbox Series S and X coming into the marketplace. Feels like a little bit of a diss there. A little yeah. bit of, ah, oh, that's great. Look at you guys. I know, I know Sony and Microsoft say they don't see each other's competition. Nintendo really doesn't see them as competition. Oh no, they're just like, on a date. At, at some point, they just broke off and are on yeah. a different path. <laughs> just, we're us. not going to do this. We're going to make stuff out of cardboard. And yes. that's what we do. Chavez added that we do think that the Nintendo Switch occupies a fundamentally different position and really has a unique proposition for shoppers and players. Uh, not wrong. I, yeah. uh, like they, they really have managed to just sort of make it its own thing. I know people with Switches who would not dream of playing a PS5 or a Series right. X. Yeah. The Switch has a broad appeal to casual gamers and considering how portable it is, Nintendo wants more than one in a house. Similar to the way each person might have their own smartphone. Brian, mm. you have a nine, right? We have three Switches in the house. <laughs> <laughs> because the uh, the kids sort of colonized the first one and we're like, fine, it's a Minecraft machine now. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, uh, we, we've had to just sort of get our own. And one for your bastard who lives in the basement. The bastard Brian Snow, yes. <laughs> Back in 2018, Shigeru Miyamoto told investors that the company's ultimate ambition is for a Nintendo Switch to be owned not just by every family, but by every single person. <laughs> <laughs> he went backstage and kneeled before a cloaked figure who <laughs> touched him on the head. And what said, is thy bidding? <laughs> Good. He took off his robe and revealed a youthful body. <laughs> <laughs> An eight pack. And while the pandemic has been awful in its devastation and the loss of human life, it's also forced people indoors and playing more video games, which plays right <laughs> into Nintanod's hands when it comes to the Switch. I didn't proofread this one as all, at all, as you can tell. Oh, Brian, you don't proofread you never, any of these. You never I get do. full Nintendo in. I believe you proofread, but Fuck that one escapes believe you. Believe it, it's a, it's a hole in my brain that I just <laughs> oh, can't he, see. He can dish it out, but he can't take it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, they've been having supply issues all year due to COVID-19. Uh, their supply chain's been all messed up, but it looks like they got it sorted out. They're starting to, to crank them back up again. And uh, as we said before, Animal Crossing came along at just the right time, just sort of hit the zeitgeist at the right right moment as many people are locked down looking for some good old escapism it has sold 26 million copies like mm -hmm. I, I just like games would kill to do those kind of numbers it's the second best-selling switch game ever just behind Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is a port of a Wii U game. It sold 29 million. Though. And is $60. They don't care. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Mario mm -hmm. Kart. No, it's $60 for you. And while the rest of 2020 was pretty light in terms of new games on the Switch, that didn't seem to matter. Its biggest game for the rest of the holiday season is Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, a hack and slash based in the Zelda <laughs> universe. It'll probably sell fine, And a right? game yeah, where you raise fine. your own possum. So. Well, hold on. That sounds interesting. Possum Razor? Did I just spit out a million dollar idea? Uh, you <laughs> did, actually. Yeah. Quick, Brian, you're going to get sued. But honestly, a lack of new games has not seemed to matter for them at all. Not even a little bit. Sales-wise, the Switch has now moved ahead of the NES, and it's now only behind the Wii, which sold over 100 million units. Nintendo has made a concession to the next generation, though. There have been multiple reports that the company is working on a pro model of the Switch that will have 4K support for games. So yeah, the company never confirmed that, but it would make sense considering how old the Switch hardware is in 2020, how old it was when it came out. In 2017, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Nintendo clearly knows that it has a winner with the hybrid system and they want to keep it as fresh as they can for as long as they can. Yeah. Thank you, Nintendo, for Thank all you, you do. We love you. Bye. We hope you enjoy Don't your weekend. Don't get sick. We know the COVID numbers are insane. Yep. Don't go to a f***ing football game this weekend. Use no. your head. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Thursday. It's the PS5 launch day. I don't know. <laughs> that I was like so we smooth. A... Yeah, I know. Hey, you're listening to Inside Gaming Daily. This is PS5 launch day. I hope you all look at what you son of a... But if not, better luck next year. It's the next-gen console week, so of course we're going to do another video about them. And while 